Hello together. In this video, I want to explain you how you can create this kind of test scripts uh, with s processes, starting with your PPML and using the S4HANA 1909 best practice processes with all the process steps in order to create a new test script which is representing one of your current processes. We're going to take two sales with the new mapped S4HANA processes. So starting point is that we are taking our template for test scripts and to make it a bit easier I take the header from the current one from the sample one and so we have tool sales what we want sale of tools tool sale to a new customer And it's the responsible team, the OTC team. And today's day is the 10th of April 2020. So, uh, how does it work? So, tool sale is in, represented in our BPML as an end to end scenario process. We have mapped the relevant end-to-end -end test scenarios to the new s best practice processes. So we can select all those which are building tool sale, which are only two, it's BD9, sell from stock and J44 material requirements planning. So what we're now going to do is we're taking this BD9 out of the process step list so selecting here bd9 and for example in my processes i don't take the steps which are outside s for hana so i will deselect those steps and what is also possible if you deselect, for example, all steps which are optional. But this will not do. So in order to copy all relevant steps from BD9, we are going to mark all these yellow the fields in the yellow columns and copying those copy then we are stepping to our prepared template and we are inserting the values so what we do have now is all the process steps with the relevant s app as well or the relevant transaction code in s We do have the business role which is the SAP best practice assigned business role to execute this step. Okay, there are certain which are uh, We, we need to check where is the test script. We have steps uh, which are optional. We have steps which are alternative for others. But this is all fine because like this, we do have the standard sequence of this BD9 process, which we also do have in the and can follow up in the best practice explorer of SAP, which I've explained 
uh, when I did in the previous video when it was about the S4 HANA best practice process mapping. So next is that was the first mapped process. Next one is J44. So what we're going to do is we're going again to our process step list and we do select J44. Material requirements planning and we are simply doing the same. So we are copying all the yellow, the fields in the yellow column, copy and we are pasting those. Now we are doing this succeeding. Again, insert values into our test script. Okay, when we have done this, we should not forget to save our new test script with a new name. So, test script OTC OTEM sale of tools. We can add a variant to EU customer. Save it. And what we could also do is, in this test case, we could add the sample data, which has been identified as the real live case to represent this test case for so it's customer one two three three one and material was number nine eight four five six so we can add this to our test script as well in order to be more specific how with what which data this test should be run with of course we have to do now some additional steps so we have to check whether all these optional steps we want to be performed or not or if we want to do these alternative steps or not uh, and my recommendation is that if you change something always change the complete line so delete lines or add lines copy lines for example if the material uh, the, the whole material requirements planning process will probably happen before the delivery is created. So we have to move the whole MRP stuff J44 up so we can cut these lines and insert them before creating the delivery. So what you see is by doing this we are creating a test script which is just putting the different steps out of different SAP best practice processes in the correct order in order to represent the handling of our current end-to-end -end scenario facilitating the functions of the best practice sees from SAP S4 HANA. Hope this will help you a lot to map your current business into the new S4 HANA processes. And as I said, definitely you will need to go through these, all these test scripts and 
have your consultants or your business validating whether the sequence is complete, whether there are too much steps and don't be afraid, it's always okay to, to delete steps if necessary or to change the sequence. Important is that as we are doing this, we are just within the functionality of the S4HANA best practice processes. So this is a way to map your current business into the new S4HANA best practice processes world in a very detailed level because we are down to the transaction code or the S4HANA Fiori app steps which need to be executed to run all these business case end to end in your future S4HANA system. What I also recommend is also to add in the beginning steps in each processes which are validating all the necessary master data to be used. For example, to add two steps here and say, okay, this is not from the best practice. It's the still, it's the internal sales representative who does this. It's a new task in the business process management tool and it's check customer master and check material master and the test data in this case is customer 12331 and material 98456. Transaction code, for example, here maybe we the 3 I think this is these are quite well known transaction codes or for material MM03. Um, so by doing this, um, you make sure that the testers will be aware that the content of the master data which is used in this test case is really feeding this test case. So I'm going to save this. Hope this has given you a good insight and this will help you to set up the your test scripts for your complete today's business to be represented in S4HANA best practice process steps and um, the explanation which you should visit, um, which, which was a preparation for this, is how to map within in your BPML the end-to-end -end test scenario steps to the S4HANA best practice processes. And there will be a succeeding video explaining how you are using these test scripts within the accelerated testing environment. Everything which has been shown here can be downloaded in our zabxp.ch Digistore. Thank you very much and successful implementation.